with the bottom hole now all nice and black you know that's really going to make it look dark inside and we don't have to worry about that too much quick blast of black um, but then we come to the upper part of the hull um, which I just want to quickly put a kitchen paper towel down for this because it's going to get a little bit more messy all right with this what we want to do is we just want to um, lightly spray this not kind of get it all black black but kind of just a light sort of you know get it a bit misty all over all right hopefully as you can see here if you want to put a bit more thinners to the paint to thin it down make it a bit more transparent you know feel free probably would be easier that way but hopefully what you're seeing here now is it's not as black as this it's just you know kind of getting a bit lighter all right and then we can go to our bottom turret ring all right and again you know we want to just go even lighter now all right so you definitely want to have your your paint sort of nice and thin all right and all you're after is something a little bit lighter than what we've got going on here so you know you've got to know when to stop all right so that's that's good and then we get our bottom turret i mean a, a top part of the toy and with this one we want to start from the bottom right nice lead at the bottom like so and probably almost leave it like that maybe sort of in the corners you could maybe do sort of like a bit of um, pre-shading just to give it maybe a bit more depth hopefully as you can see there we're just kind of you know this is going to be a lot more lighter at the top and that is what we're, we're after and then same with the turret ring let's not do anything at the top but just at the tip of the bottom right getting a nice angle so we're like this right so we're just going to get the tip just a bit and not really spray anywhere else in there Right, get that angle just nice and we just get a little bit just at the tip there just to bring that out a bit then as for the gun you know same thing um, you know let's sort of bring the bottom looking a bit blacker than, as, than the top all right so nice and light at the top oops that was a bit of a mistake but don't worry we'll work that out later yeah, so a bit darker at the bottom and lighter at the top um, and that sorts that out so let's um, do a quick color change i'm just spraying the rest of the black out in the bin just there all right getting a kitchen paper towel i'm gonna get some um vallejo airbrush cleaner and we're just going to do the bubbling technique where we just nicely bubble all what's inside the needle end and in the cup bubbling it up letting the Vallejo thinners work its magic whoops not too much or it spits all right and then we just tip it upside down and then all whatever nasties or bits come out the cup end because it'll just block up the nozzle end if we spray any bits through and then because it's just a quick color change and this uh, I'm not too bothered about this color this color I'm, I'm you know i know we're going to be using white next but we're going to be all right because as i say we're not going to see much in here all right so um let's get um a bit of homebrew thinners you know you can go check out that tutorial on the genesis models website and we're going to have a bit of a nice 50 50 mix of um homebrew thinners and 71001 white now this is where we're gonna, um, you know, this is where we're gonna bring our pre-shade into life that we've just done. We want it really dark in the turret. So I've got some white here, and I really just want to miss this in here, right? I mean, like really lightly, lightly missed it in. Hopefully, as you can see there, it's just nice, lightly in there. I'll probably maybe do a bit more air pressure or thin this down a bit. All right, so there we go nice sort of light it's going to look really dark down there and then again like we've done before um, what we want to do is we want to put more white 
on our upper hull than our lower hull just so as the different stages get lighter and lighter as the higher you get as you come up the hull. Right, so let's just put this on out the way. Same here, you know, we want to get whiter right, until we're literally, when we come to the top, we're literally going to be pure white is what we're after. Right, so we're getting whiter. All this now sprayed hopefully what you're going to see now is as we put the different pieces on top of each other we're going to have let's bring you in a bit closer right we're going to have these different layers of getting dark uh, lighter and lighter the further we go up the turret right because it's supposed to be um actual white inside here um, and we're basically representing that but kind of representing you know sort of like shadows and it just getting darker and darker and you know hopefully as you've seen you know we can now see just in there but it's looking rather dark at the bottom and then it gets lighter at the top um, it's just it's just so we just don't see bare plastic right for what little we're going to see in there at least we're you know we're seeing that it is white inside there but with everything sort of coming together you're not really going to see much in there especially once we've got our commander in there it's going to be rather hard um, now when it comes to say weathering it, it is totally up to you how you go about it um, me personally I'm probably just going to go for um, these two sort of filters maybe um, it's kind of up to you what you go for and I'm only going to do this top hatch I'm only going to do this top hatch because really that is probably the most you're really going to see in any kind of detail anything else is just going to be so dark inside there I'm not really going to bother so I'm probably going to filter it with um, um, Mig Productions um, P404 grey for bright white which you know as it says it is grey for bright white so um, you know it should kind of make that look a little bit grubby and dirty give it a bit more life than just flat white and then although this is a filter I mean I might do a bit of a light bit of a pin wash um, just inside there as well to give it a little bit more life um, you know but that's sort of basic stuff what I'm gonna just quickly show you now as well is a bit of gluing um, because basically I've been playing around with some a can range um, paints lately and while I was looking through their paint range they also do their own glue uh, and this glue um, from what I've little I've used it um, feels a lot like our uh, Mr. Cement S or our Tamiya Extra Thin Cement apart from it is a million times cheaper I mean one pound nineteen for a pot is not bad if you ask me so just using this as um, our first gluing point Right, it does fit rather nice. Um, you don't obviously get a paintbrush with this, it's just a pot. It does smell, you know, quite potent, um, just like our Tamiya Extra Thin Cement, but it is nice and thin, so it's the same um, principle of, you know, you bring the two pieces together and then you, you paint along the join line and just let that glue um, actually have that capillary action to flow in between the two pieces of plastic and then melt the plastic together not bond them together right but as I say you need your own sort of paintbrush for this but I just wanted to kind of show it you just to kind of show you know I'm looking at using this and you know let's just see how good this is you know probably have a nice product review for this at one point maybe coming to the last little step that I'm going to show you here but I mean literally this is basically all built now um, you know the next stage really is we're going to be priming this up and and start in the whole kind of spray work but the, the last thing I want to quickly show you is our 
main gun here. Now I have nicely um, sanded it nice and seamless because it was too hard. It's been nicely sanded seamless on the top but on the inside it does look maybe not so nice and a perfect nice sort of circle going in on in there so the size that I'm going to try and use first is a 1.4 mil um, drill bit here I'm just going to hopefully nicely drill this out I'm going to drill it a bit because I'm you know I'm kind of experimenting with this size a bit first oh actually that's a gorgeous size that is so I'm just going to kind of drill down this as far as I can go really and hopefully this is going to look well nice right I know you can buy like nice sort of proper metal ones of these but I mean if you if you nicely um, sand your seam lines all nicely seamless and then you drill out the inside nice enough hopefully you'll agree you can actually get it looking a bit too close so you can actually get it actually looking rather nice in there hopefully as you can see there by just getting the right drill and drilling it well, what I've done so far is I've just nicely primed this up with some Vallejo um, surface primer really nice primer to use you want to um, check out how to do that you know on the Genesis Models website we have a nice product review stroke tutorial on how to use it and how good it is but I, I really do like it as a nice way of preparing um, our work for spraying now when it comes to spraying <coughs> I'm going to be using for our main colour here, I'm going to be using XF63 German Grey by Tamiya. It's supposed to be a nice good German Grey for doing um, German armour. Um, now when it comes to spraying armour, um, you know, I mean you can go lots of ways about this. You could do some pre-shading. Uh, me personally, um, pre-shading I'm not I don't find it a big deal when it comes to armour. When it comes to weathering with armour, I like to get in there with pigments, oils and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to crack on and put this nice flat um, German grey down by um, Tamiya here. So, uh, you know, we just want to nicely get a nice 50-50 mix. I am using uh, Genesis Models um, homebrew thinners for this. And we just want to put nice, even coats all over. Remember we want to start off with a nice misty coat just to give all our other bits of paint that we're going to be spraying on this something to stick to. Right? Remember the same type of paint likes to stick to itself so getting that nice little misty coat down you know allows all your other coats to stick nicely. Now with armour as well we need to come in from all angles that we possibly can come in at because it is very very um, littered with lots of different things um, you know so you want to get in at all different angles and then build them up nice light coats until you get it all the right coverage you want. What I want to do now is I want to do a bit of bleaching. Um, so the first, first what we're going to do is um, I'm going to use what was left in the um, cooler cup with our um, XF63 and just add a bit more um, um, homebrew finish just so we've got a really nice thin thin mixture for our um, bleaching. Give that a, a bit of a mix that's a one side and what we want to do is um, get out a bit of XF2 and a bit of XF8 right? so we want to get out the white because what we want to do with the white which isn't open up very easily there we go what I want to do with the white we want to make a lighter shade of our XF63 right so just a, a couple of dollops of that maybe three dollops should hopefully do it and hopefully as you can see it just nicely lightens that up make sure we mix that in but then what I want to do is um, with a lot of German grey armour um, a lot of people like to just give it a bit of a tinge a bit of a hue of blue right so I'm gonna give that a go and with our bleach and just give it a slight hue of blue Sometimes these lids can be a bit of a pain to get off. So what I'm going to do is a nice little product here. Um, 
you can get it from all sorts of online shops but basically we've got this uh, bit of a rubber holder here and then we've got our um, sort of like a, a spanner thing hold on let's do this right let's get a paper towel because my hands are a little bit on the sweaty side and we should be able to open the top a lot easier as you can see just there right and um, that's especially useful if you've got like the guns range or anything like that because them lids can really stick down so with this little bit of blue just to give it that bit of a blue hue I just want to get let's just try out maybe a bit about half a, a dollop on the paintbrush because we just want to give it a light hue um, we could possibly a little bit more Right, we really don't want to go too far with this. There we go. So hopefully, I'll just bring you in a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you can see we've just got this a nice bit lighter, and there's that little bit of a light blue hue in there. All right, and it's nice and thin. So um, let's just give that a go. Let's get my lid back on. All right, and we'll just test it a little bit and just see are we spraying out nicely. Let's just blast a bit out in the bin because right, um, what we've mixed we haven't mixed what's in the needle in so we need to spray a bit of that out yeah and there you go hopefully you might be seeing there's a nice bit of a, a light blue hue to that so let's um, just get out our um, turret here and what we want to do we just want to within inside um, flat spaces and stuff not sort of on the edges um, just inside um, panel lines and stuff we just want to give it a bit of a um, a mottled effect um, I'm also making sure my PSI is um, under 20 PSI we don't want it to be too much and we're just going to do this mottled effect right Hopefully, as you can see there, it's just give it a bit of a, a mottled effect. And what we're trying to do as well, we're just trying to get that biting point where it just, as we push down for the air and then we just pull back, we just start to see that paint come out and that's our biting point. And we wanna, we wanna give that a go, get that biting point, get in close, keep it moving. We don't wanna get any spider in. Yeah, no spider in. So we don't wanna, Stay in one place too long and hopefully as you can see we're just giving it um, those that little bit of it being a bit short shall we say um, a bit faded as you know it's bleaching it's bleaching it a bit white fading the panel line work you know and I like to flick upwards as well just to kind of give a, a representation of a bit of streaking as well let's get the light in there a little bit Maybe get rid of this tissue paper actually. And the lighting should work a little bit better. There we go. So we get a, a couple of, of flicks going up there to kind of represent a little bit of streaking as well as the mottled effect. Get inside these panel lines. And we just want to just build up on it and just make it a little bit more interesting, a bit more realistic than just being some flat grey. Hopefully, as you've seen there. One other thing we could also do is um, we can sort of get our angle um, just right um, and say at the top. Let's. What we want to do is if we spray at this angle, we should hopefully get a nice sharp line sort of at the top if we get it just right. All right. Hopefully, as you can see there, we're getting a little bit of a nice sort of sharp line just at the top, nice and light, but it doesn't go over onto the actual, um, this line just here. You know, we're getting that sprayed onto the top of there because of the angle in which we're spraying it. And I'll just show you that again, this side. We get it at this angle nicely, and we can just spray a nice bit. Kind of just to represent maybe a bit of a highlight all right, hopefully as you're seeing there, we've lightened that edge up, but we've not kind of sprayed onto the top edge here, you know, because of the angle we've sprayed it at. Um, what we could also do, if I've got something lying around, 
nice bit of plastic card because it's nice and straight we could put that right here like so and do the same thing right we can get in here and sort of spray the edge just to give us maybe a little bit of a, a highlight and it just looks nice when we you know we end up having this like nice straight edge as you can see there it just gives it that little bit of a nice sort of highlight to it right and we can do that in all sorts of places again I mean uh, you know at this bin at the back we could um, spray it at an angle so it's just gonna touch one side of the edge and leave the other side you know nice and sort of the normal color and then we've got that nice lit up edge just nice like that and we can do that to all sorts of areas on here to kind of give it lots of different sort of um, mottled effects sort of streaking effects um, you know and highlights and this is just all down to like one sort of color here using for our, our bleaching if you wanted to mix it up a little bit we could make it whiter um, if you wanted to, oh, I'm not going to go that far, but you could make it whiter and maybe really get close on these edges to sort of really highlight them up as well. Uh, but that's up to you. So I'm going to, you know, highlight and mottle up and bleach up um, the rest of this nice um, XF63 German grey. As you can see, I've put a nice gloss coat on after doing that bleaching and the decklin, I mean, it's as simple as, as simple as get because, I mean, we've only got six decals. Those are done um, the normal way. There's a nice tutorial on the Genesis Models website if you want to look how to do decals, but they were really simple. They conformed really nice, nicely with uh, micro sol and set. So um, what I want to do after, like, leaving this a good sort of overnight to dry is I want to start with the chipping. Now, with the shipping I want to be using three colors for this uh, I'm just give them a quick shake and the colors I want to be using I want to be using NATO black um, I want to use NATO black because um, um, really you don't really in any kind of sort of art really you want to, you don't really want to be using black black you know it's always really you want to be using like a, a lighter shade of black or black with a bit of red or black with a bit of green or something like that you don't really want to be going black black so NATO black's just a nice sort of it's almost going a bit rubbery black so that will be quite nice there also going to be using red hull now I'm going to be using red hull because um, well, let's face it, these um, Panzers were actually primed in the factory with like a red sort of paint. And this red hull is like a nice dark red to sort of um, show that it's been chipped down to the primer. So that's going to be a co good colour there. And then just for some light little scratches, a nice bit of medium sea grey, some sort of a lighter um, grey than what we've got here to kind of um, show um, well, basically, we've got these two different. We've got a dark and a light version of basically grey to give us kind of two different lighter or dark versions of chipping, right? So what we want to do, um, I want to start off with the black, right? Give it a shake, and we can put it on our palette just here, just a little bit straight out of the the pot, and then what we want to do is we've most chipping really I mean to to rip off these bits of sponges that you, you get with all sorts of aftermarket parts and then we can just dip onto the sponge uh, dip into the paint like so and then we get a bit of a kitchen paper towel and we just want to dab it until we sort of it almost turns a bit of a dry sort of brush kind of thing going on there and then what we want to do we want to target um, all uh, areas like where um, the commander's going to be getting out and all that kind of stuff um, these nice sort of edges do work rather well as well I right, get into those nice sort of edges here by the, the gun, you know, basically where, um, you know, it's going to get chipped, right, and they've got the commander's hatch here, so this is going to probably get chipped quite a bit, all right, so we get a nice couple of chips going in there, and then there's like getting out and walking on this bit of a flat surface, any raised kind of areas, we've got hatches here as well, all right, we want to kind of give them a bit of a, a dab as well and just nicely sort of work our way round 
getting those bit of uh, black chips going on. <laughs> Thank you.